What's up YouTube? This is Erkin from HDD Recovery Services. Today we're going to be recovering the SanDisk memory card. It's a 16 gigabyte unit and it's a monolith design memory card. So we plugged it into the reader. The reader doesn't register it. The camera cannot see it. So uh, how do we go about recovering data off of this device? Now unlike traditional printed circuit board based units that have external memory components that we can desolder and put in our readers and extract raw data from them. This unit does not have that. Everything is embedded into one chip and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Once we open up this unit on the inside, we're not gonna find a printed circuit board. Well, technically it is a printed circuit board, but it's all integrated into this one chip. So the top row of the colon connections is your interface. The bottom row are the test points. So uh, when controller unit fails on memory cards, communication with uh, memory that's stored in an NAND chip is gone. Uh, or it's not working right. So you, in some cases you may actually be able to detect the, de detect the device, but data recovery software will see nothing but zeros inside. Uh, in other cases you may detect the device, but there's uh, it shows that the device is, it has zero capacity. So in this specific unit, because there are no external memory components, these golden pads at the bottom, those test points, they will have to be our communication points for uh, getting access to the data that is inside of this unit. Okay, these test points have specific signals assigned to them and uh, knowing what those assignments are uh, is extremely important in order for communication with the device. Today we will be using this adapter here that will quickly solder up and try to get access. Before we do any soldering, the first thing that we always start with is if you look at the top row of these connection pads for the interface, two of them are slightly taller. Uh, that's uh, your VCC and VSS contacts, so power and the ground. So in order for us to make sure that the controller is not shorted, and that we can actually power up this unit without overheating it, uh, we need to test those two pads for uh, continuity. So I'm gonna set up my multimeter to the continuity test, which is that thing right there. One probe goes on one end, and another probe goes on the other end. If the controller is shorted, you're gonna hear the sound. If they're not shorted, it may beep just once, but it will not make that long beeping noise. 0 0.396, that's perfect. So the unit is not shorted and we can actually proceed with soldering work.
basically what you guys just saw is the entire process of data recovery directly from the memory source bypassing the controller and bypassing any potential issue that might be with the memory card so if you need your data recovered you can contact us the contact information is on the screen don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit like it will really help us out we put out a lot of content about data recovery so if you're interested in it hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time